Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome to Games, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Build a City series on the modded world. We're back here again, just sort of hanging out. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, no, today we're back here, and I want to be building a. Uh, oh, I landed on a palm tree. How lucky is that? Um, <laughs> I want to be building another modern house. Why? Because I feel like it. Why not? I know we were supposed to start working on the airport, but that's a rather ambitious project. And like I said in the last couple episodes ago, I think. Um, that I don't want to start working on it until I'm like really hyped about it or at least I don't want to work on it while I'm really hyped about it. We technically already started working on it. But yeah, I don't want to jump ahead of the gun and you know start you know just building things when I don't feel like building it. So we're just going to sort of play it by ear and uh, and build it accordingly based on how I'm feeling that day. Mm -hmm. Sound like a good plan? Uh, I think so. Anyway, what I'm planning on doing today is I'm a little bit frustrated that this area hasn't really been filled in more. This whole area back here. I want to be able to build a big hill behind this still like a, like a larger one. Um, but in order to do that, I really want to put up a couple more houses. So my goal, what I'm thinking, is I want one house here and another house here. Let's just start. I think we should build a house right here today. That's what we're going to do. Because um, we need to fill this in. Obviously, all those need to be filled in as well. Probably with some smaller houses down there. Maybe not, though. Maybe we'll just go for a couple bigger ones. And this will be a slightly nicer area up here. But the goal here is, of course, to build a bunch of different little houses uh in the hills as we started way back and we still haven't finished so that's what we're gonna be doing today and uh, let's get right to it now we're gonna be working on a modern house specifically i want to actually wall this off here this is the gate or sorry this is the hedge from this guy down here to sort of protect him however i'm also going to use it as sort of the hedge for this place right here what i want to do is sort of go like this sorry i'm just actually laying out a little uh deck that can go out here first before i start on the house and that's just quickly so we can uh, really easily established where to put the house and we know exactly how much room here will be allocated towards one of these uh, all the way down maybe we could block some of this off so it doesn't look so strange something like that and then actually yeah we can just go along there and do this okay so what have I done here so far uh, you'll see sort of in more detail in a second but basically I've just created a little outdoor space for the person to live in you know kind of makes sense right uh, this all sort of has to be taken out to be honest to make this look good um, let's just go ahead and, and do it like this. You can see there's actually a hollow part of the hill, which is not ideal, but whatever. I kind of just had to do that while making the hills to make it a lot quicker. Um, that will work just fine. So the number one issue with this property so far is that it's going to be fairly small. So if we go out here, two, three, four, five, let's actually, no, that's the only way we can go with that. Let's go right there with it. All right, so my goal is to sort of create two different sections of the house here, one of them being a low-line sort of uh, guest house in a way, which will be this building right here. Not even a guest house necessarily, but just a very simple little building, uh, and then a main building right beside it. And the reason for this is uh, just to make a very simple, uh, first of all, a really cool deck, I think, but then also to have a car park underneath here. If I can do this right, which I think I want to do it like that. Yeah, you know what? Let me raise this all by one block here real quick. Okay, what the heck am I doing? Allow me to explain. This is going to be the main building right here, and this is actually going to be the main entrance right along here. So this area over here will be one big window, one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be the main sort of section of the house. Uh, we're going to go back maybe one block there. Yeah, so the house itself won't actually end up being that big most likely because I want to have a lot of different outdoor spaces and whatnot. Um, but if we do something like this... Yeah, something really basic. I've basically just got like a, uh, a house that's kind of curving out with the hill which I think looks pretty cool. It's a very small house, but that's totally cool. I think it's okay. We've worked very well with small houses as we saw in the last couple episodes, so not too bad at all. What I'm thinking, this other house is going to go right here, so maybe what we could do as an additional little area is build in something right here. What I'm going for is sort of a compound feel um, on the entire property here, and I think this will help with that. Okay, that's better. I actually really like that layout, and then there will be a fence literally right here on the back of this property, and then what we'll do is we'll have this entire lot here to work with to put one more house on. Okay, so first things first, I want to copy and paste the main building up one so we get a second floor like so. So that's done just like that, and then what I want to do is start putting in some floors. I think we'll go with spruce flooring maybe. I think that's like kind of the most appropriate for the modern house look here. Okay, so I'm really simply just going along and uh, replacing all the grass with this uh, spruce. Also, um, I think what we can do, this will be going along here just like so. But I think what we can do is leave these all open to make it very open concept with the deck. And you'll see kind of how this all plays out here in a second. Just putting some more hedge fence up in between the, uh, the multiple different buildings here. Go ahead and put a roof on this guy. Go ahead and add a door right here going out into the guest house. So now we're working on the north side of the property. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and add another door right here. Maybe we actually will do gray outlines on these. And same with this one. Something uh, just a little bit with a little bit more detail, I should say. Uh, there we go, just like that. I'm also going to go along the top of the house and add a gray uh, outline like so to add some more detail as well as on all of the outer structures. Okay, so that's all of a sudden looking really good. What I want to do here now is go ahead and also add a uh, an additional little area or entranceway, I should say, um, to get into uh, from the main building. So on this building, we'll do it like that. Then we'll go along here. We'll add our white concrete, which actually this is probably going to be a bedroom. So maybe it's best if we bring this up to just there to kind of cover up any of the uh, any of the looking points from the street. Yeah, we have to extend the fence like so to sort of go around it. And uh, then in here, basically, I think we still want a fence. Maybe we won't go for a fence in here, but we will go for a little um, sort of podium thing here. And then this is going to be the driveway. Perfect. So the driveway goes in like so. We have another door entrance right here. Trying to work on the deck. Now we'll add a little pathway out into this building here with a uh, outline on it of some sort. Maybe a little entrance into the rest of the, uh, into the, rest of the deck will come off of right here. And the rest of it, though, I want to have a little dark outline, uh, actually a light gray concrete outline, going into the uh, into the guest house here. It's crazy how much lag I get from uh, destroying those blocks down there. Anyway, that does that, and then we'll go for some flowers, maybe even some sunflowers. Sure, those are actually not going to work. Some moon daisies. There we go. Creates a really nice little entryway into this uh, house, and then we'll just continue the deck. Okay, so that's going to conclude the deck. A lot of the deck is sort of expansive out onto the rest of the property, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I might actually put this up as a wall here, though. Uh, yeah, that'll be better. And then an entrance out this way. Time to now add some glass and see if we can kind of detail it up to look good. In this one, I'm actually going to add maybe a dark stretch like this to sort of separate them out. Yeah, there we go. It looks better. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Filling in glass is so much fun with World Edit. There we go. Get some more glass there. And then up here, and we're almost pretty much done the glass. And then I'll show you a couple other cool features that we need to add still. Uh, there's going to be a pool involved. There's going to be a little balcony involved. And there's also going to be trying to finish up the guest house. There's a lot of exciting stuff. So this is a little bridge area over here. And I wanted to just literally extend this so then it would go out along the entire top here and create a really cool balcony. I was debating doing it on the white or the gray, but I think it looks better on the gray like that. So there we go. All these also will be filled in with these railings, kind of create a nice uh, design over here, like so. And uh, this house is going to have really great views. Now, finally, I'm going to go along and add the infinity pool. This is all going to be using blue stained glass, just like so. But then we want to go down a couple layers here. So let's see how we can do this. Here we go. Just adding two uh, layers on this pool just because it's not very big, but it will be uh, a nice little effect. Get some water in here. I'm thinking the blue glass will sort of help to uh, define the infinity pool once the water's in here and maybe make it look more like an infinity pool instead of using like black glass on the edge. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I think that does actually help out quite a bit. Um, here we go. Replace air 9550 and replace air over here with 9515, adding for some really cool views out of this build. And then uh, we also have to add it right here couple more places where we probably need to add it but I'm thinking that, that pretty much is actually going to do it for this build yeah we've got a, oh no we haven't finished yet we have this window to do right here and now I think we've finished so check it out guys let's give a quick little tour of the place since it's looking pretty awesome you come along the road here it looks like a pretty significant but not too big place from the uh, from the road but then once you enter you would enter the driveway right here uh, maybe we even add some little like hedges along. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave that for right now. You enter here. There's maybe one bedroom in here with a nice lookout view, a little breakfast area over here. Uh, you got a great view, obviously, again, coming down off of the main uh, bedroom here. And then we have the driveway, which you might park a car in. In fact, we have cars, so we can just, you know, drop a, uh, I don't know, what about a Lamborghini in there? Bam, that's your car. Kind of big. But there we go. It kind of works. It helps add to the house for sure. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we enter the main building here. Lots and lots of openness out into the uh, area, uh, the, the sort of outdoor area. We've got a nice infinity pool, obviously, which you just put in. We've got a second story, which we can add another couple bedrooms to. And then out here, another building, which, of course, could be, you know, a little living room or another um, another bedroom, whatever. Maybe this is a master bedroom, actually. Uh, yeah, overall, really happy with how that all turned out. It looks really boss from down here. It looks like a complex an absolute complex. Yeah, really cool. And uh, even if you zoom back here and you take a look at the hill, it's on the side, but you can definitely still get an angle of it that's uh, that's pretty cool and it looks uh, pretty significant up there in the hill. 
I'm really happy with how that one turned out, and I'm going to leave it there. If you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to go down below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.